So as I previously mentioned, you do want to play around with your search terms, your phrase combinations, come up with as many synonyms or related terms as you possibly can to do your research. Don't get focused in on one specific term or one specific phrase, try to mix it up and try different things. So for example, I can change this to Trump's wall instead of border wall. This adds a little more specificity to my search. I can click the magnifying glass or hit enter. And you'll notice that I stayed in my same window and so all of my filters are still in place and it updated based on those filters. So I only get two results because I did become much more specific in my phrase and my filters are always already making things more specific. So I can go back and try to do something more general as well. It's more general in the sense that I am not including quotation marks, but it's more specific also because I'm already indicating what regions I'm looking for. And when I click that update, you'll see that I have 92 results still maintaining the same filters that I had before. And it's also showing me the three articles that I had previously selected. So I can clear that selection, yes, and go back and look through my results as well. Another way that you can modify your search is by going back to advanced search and typing in your search from here, starting over from scratch. That means resetting all of your filters, going back to zero. So for example, I can try border wall and using my Boolean operator here, I can put United States and there's this nifty little button here where I can add a row click and still put Mexico and then click search or hit enter and see what that gives me. And now you'll notice none of my filters are there. I've conducted a brand new search and it shows me my new search here using my Boolean operators and and and. These Boolean operators serve as kind of a calculator function. It's just trying to add these terms together. And then I can go through and apply any new filters that I want to apply to these results. And you'll notice that in my previous search with my filters, I had less results than I have here. So it depends how you wanna start and also the terms that you wanna use, the combination of terms, you will get different results every time. So you definitely want to experiment. And that's pretty much it for ProQuest Database.